Account reporting groups can be used for varying different reasons to provide clarity around your financial reporting. In this video, I will show some very basic grouping and how to go about setting up these account reporting groups. Currently on screen, we have the Profit and Loss Financial Report. I'll use this report to display the reporting groups in action. The current view is how your profit and loss would look if you do not have reporting group detail displayed. You will see a summarized profit and loss displaying only your reporting groups. Should you wish to see the detail making up the balances, you would simply click on the display reporting group detail in the show report options section. This will display all of your accounts including the groupings that you have set up. The account reporting groups can be accessed from two places. Firstly, on the list of accounts page where there is an account reporting group button. There is also a link contained under the accounts menu. The reporting groups page is a list of all of your accounts in Sage One, including system accounts. From here you are able to group similar accounts together. On my page, I have already grouped a number of accounts together. I've grouped some of my new sales and purchases accounts. I've grouped all my expenses into two broad categories, admin expenses and general expenses. I've also grouped together my fixed assets to include the cost and accumulated depreciation as one group. These reporting groups are not set in stone. They can be edited or removed at any time. Accounts assigned to these reporting groups are not restricted to these classifications indefinitely. They can be moved or ungrouped at any stage. To illustrate the grouping process, I will start by deleting the general expenses grouping, which will result in the accounts within the reporting group being unassigned. To group these accounts again, I will simply select each of the accounts by clicking on the associated checkbox. I will then click on the Group Accounts button which appears next to the financial category, and I will name the grouping that I want these accounts assigned to, in this case General Expenses. At this point, I would have also had the option of assigning these accounts to an existing reporting group, Admin Expenses, but I will choose to remain with the General Expenses grouping. Please note, you can only group together accounts that fall under the same financial category. For example, I can group together four expenses, but I cannot group an expense with a cost of sale. Once you have set up all of your account groupings, please remember to click on save at the bottom of the page. From there you can view all your financial reports either in summary or in detail, including your profit and loss, trial balance and statement of assets and liabilities. Thank you for watching.